works. <laughs> Actually, see if we actually we're live. All right, it's going there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. We're live. Let's screen just check the audio. So, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to Weedy Tech. Just testing the audio. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Weedy Tech. Just testing the audio. Okay, it works. <laughs> the audio works. Talk. <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, let's just see if anybody joins. There's six people in already. All right, so that's cool. Um, let's start. All right, basically, with what we're gonna do. All right, so welcome, guys. Uh, today we're just going to do a nice little build. It's actually been a while since we did a build stream. So last time I did one was when we were giving away a PC. So it's been, been a while. Unfortunately, we're not gonna do a PC giveaway this time. Instead, we're going to build our Rwan's a new gaming and editing PC, which uh, some of the parts is from here and some of the parts he luckily got on Black Friday as well, like the CPU and the GPU uh, for the limited stock that there is. So luckily we have enough parts <laughs> to build a proper nice gaming PC or editing PC. Um, Ron, you can go over the parts that you got and why. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, basically the Z490 Aorus Master. So this is one of the motherboards that was, was sitting here basically. I think this is going to be a nice uh, addition with the 11700K. This I got uh, for a very good price. So for editing and gaming, this is going to be a beast of a, of a CPU to run with. The 3060 Ti Strix OC Edition uh, stock was very limited with any graphics cards right now. So this was one of the only options to go for. And I didn't have, uh, well, it, it was a pretty decent price as well. So um, it was kind of a no-brainer. Then we've got the Aqua 360 from Kruger to keep everything nice and cool on the CPU side. I don't think I'm going to run any overclocks on the on the i7 as it is. Maybe I'll play around a little bit with it. Um, but as it is, it, it'll, it'll be fast enough. Then we've got the uh, CX750F RGB power supply from uh, Corsair. Um, it's white, it's <laughs> RGB, but we are probably going to swap it around for a black one later on. Right now, this is one of the only ones that we have uh, in the studio to, to build with. That's just sitting here that we're not doing anything with. Yes, so we thought it's a Corsair case, it's the 5000D, the new one. Uh, let's go Corsair with the power supply as well, it was a nice addition. Also Corsair is the, the Lightning Node Pro RGBs that we're probably going to take out later. We're just doing it for to look nice. There's not going to be three though. I think, I'm not sure what the RGB like strips are inside and which box. So Yeah, I, I, it might be a RGB overload if it's too... <laughs> if there might not it, be any <laughs> strips left exactly. even. Exactly. And then we've got the HD120 fans there which we're going to do three... We'll see where we're gonna put them. Obviously, three of them is gonna go on the radiator, most probably as well. And that is basically it. Oh, and the, we've got the Adata D50 Spectrix for for the RAM, 32 gigs, running at 3600 megahertz, and the Adata S50 Lite SSD, a one terabyte that we're gonna throw in here as well. Yeah, that's basically the specs. All right, cool. So uh, we're probably going to split this up a bit. To, uh, like I'm probably going to do more on the case with the fans and everything and then it'll, you'll start with the motherboard, the CPU and RAM and so on because we are limited on time so um, yeah, I think let's squeaky just jump into it and get it done as quick as possible. Yeah. Alright, so let's just put most of the stuff just down here uh, and you guys can just let us know if the audio sounds okay or, or what. We don't really have any comments so far which is unfortunate but alright. Live chat, nothing. <laughs> so people don't want to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, so let's we just get all of this out of the way. And we can start. Ooh. Here's fans in here, uh, strips in here. All right, so we have some there. We have all of the cables inside this one. And then, what's inside here? We have a... Node for, for the fans here, we're probably going to need that. And then a 
controller. I'm not sure if we're going to need a controller, but it is here as well. Doubt it. Let's just keep this ACSD that side. Power supply. Put it down here. Hopefully we have space. Yeah, luckily. So you're probably going to need to flash the bars on this. Yeah, so we'll see how we're going to do that. Um, I think the master does come with a uh, bias flashback option from USB. So once we have everything set up, we'll start with that. I have the same power supply. There you go. Nice. It's, it's white on black, but it, it's fine. Later on, we'll, we'll switch it out for something else. And then that, that's going to be yours. Now, again, I'm going to start with the with the fans, which I think is still over here. No, the fans are here. Are they? Oh, they're there, sorry. I oh, put okay. them there. Alright, so here we have all six <laughs> of the HD, uh, well, your yeah, HD120s. So it just depends on where do you want to put it though. Why? Where, where do you want to mount your... I was thinking the radiator yeah. in the front. Okay. Um, we just need to see with the pipes, if the pipes is going to go up here. Otherwise, we need to install that thingy majini that they gave with. Because we need to do it the right way. We need to do it the right way, where yes. for the, the proper... Um, the Tech Jesus way. <laughs> the Tech Jesus way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, people are going to complain. Exactly. So, inlet and outlet at the bottom, so that all the bubbles get collected at the top, and then the pipe is probably going to go this way. All right. We'll see if the pipes are going to be long enough. It should be. Otherwise, yeah. Well, we'll see. Otherwise, the radar at the top, but. Or we can do the special thingy matching you there. Yeah, it just depends. You want your RGB fan at the back, because otherwise it's going to be 3 3, and then. Nothing. Yeah, let's do it 3 3. Okay. Because this, this side of the case is going to face against the wall. Oh, so that's fine. Yeah. And later on, you can buy a, a, <laughs> single, one, a, single, a single lonely HD fan, and they are not cheap. <laughs> and you're going to need a controller as well because the hub only uh, has space for, for six. Okay, so no <laughs> RGB fan in the back. All right, so uh, let's start quickly with the front. So, radiator at the top, and then. No, I just need to untangle. Yeah, we've got a bad bias flashback button here, so right, let's sort cool. that out. I'm gonna just get a a lappy. A lappy. I had a lappy earlier. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Back there. So a lot of the stuff has just been kind of sitting here, collecting a bit of dust, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, we don't use all of them every single day. So that's sometimes the the unfortunate case. But then a case a uh, uh, opportunity like this comes around where you can actually use it, which is cool. All right, so let's quickly open it up over here. Do you need a screwdriver? Yeah, thank you. Screwdriver. Do you have thermal paste somewhere? I do. You can use the the Oris thermal paste. Who on the Oris board? Is this the Dreamware Tech boy? Yeah. Nice. The Dreamware Tech knife. Nice. Thank you, Dreamware Tech, for the knife. So I don't have to use any what what's Stop uh, in English. Blunt knife. Blunt knife. There we go. <laughs> Me and my English. Oh, you have the same GPU. Nice. Is it PSU or GPU? Wait. I have the same. Oh, PSU. Lovely. Mute. Lovely mate. Oh. oh. <laughs> my eyes are not very good. Sorry. I thought it was mute. It's like no. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're already expecting something to go wrong with the stream, so... <laughs> Let's just get this one out. So much money for a little bit of cotton and a piece of silicone. That's the sad truth. That sounds. Let's get this one. Luckily, the deal on this wasn't bad. I think I got like 2,000 Rand off, which is what, 120, 150 dollars. So, yeah, what was the reason why you went with the 11,700 instead of the 12,700? Okay, so main reason was 12th gen boards are extremely expensive. Well, that's not the main reason. The main reason is DDR5 RAM is extremely expensive and there is nothing in South Africa. So like my current system, uh, 
which is you'll you'll see I'm going to do like a vlog as well. But the, my current system has the new Z690 Pro board with the 12700K, and the only RAM we have, and the only RAM that I was able to get is like a SUS um, green <laughs> OEM RAM. It's not it doesn't have XMP or anything, so it's really really basic, and that's all we have. Corsair doesn't have, nobody has, so it's all we could get, unfortunately. Yeah, and I think on top of that... Just wait a bit for the thermal paste. Okay, on top of that... If you do find DDR5 the, RAM, it's gonna be... That's the price. Twice the price of DDR4. Yeah, and we looked a bit at some of the benchmarks and everything, and it's honestly not really worth it for... For the amount you pay, yeah, uh, the the performance increase. Some of the it looks nice for editing, and the one's going to do a lot of editing work. So it's going to be a nice increase if you went for DDR5 and uh, for the 12700K, let's say. But uh, the price to performance ratio, price, yeah, to performance increase, yeah. just isn't worth it. Yeah. So. so, so just for probably half the amount of RAM with a Z690 board. With the 12th gen, um, it's probably around 15,000 Rand extra on top of this. For, for if, if it's an editing PC only, um, and you make a lot of income with that, I understand. But with, with the amount of editing that I do and gaming, it, I just couldn't justify that much price increase on the performance. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying 12th gen isn't as fast, or isn't as fast as they claim, it's very fast, but Personally, I just couldn't. Yeah, the pricing is still just yeah. way too much. Yeah. So. Okay, then you take the off the RAM. RAM? RAM. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's the RAM. Alright, so. I just need to see. Hello. Hello, Diego. So, yeah, the, sorry. The, this yeah, it's all a bit far away. Exactly, you could build a new exactly you could build a new rig for the price of DDR5 RAM. Yes. And if you find stock. Yeah, that's the issue. If you find stock as well. Oh. And now? We're just going to need this for the front. Oh we're gonna mount at the top, so never mind. We can leave it for now. At the front. Yeah. So we're just going to need enough. Screws, where's my screw box? I think we have enough screws. Yeah, we won't be screwed by screws. So a lot of the parts that we're also using uh, we already actually made videos on. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in any of these, the motherboard we made a video on the, we didn't do a video on the 11700, but we did a video on the 11900K. Um, and then also the RAM, I think I said that. The RAM we did, yes. The CPU, we are also, we also, oh. No, the CPU we didn't. I'm trying to. You're trying to multitask. <laughs> yeah. We are not female. <laughs> Yeah, I need to put it like this. Um, the SSD we did a video on. Now again, we might switch out the SSD later on, but for now, we're taking that. Uh, I'm gonna switch that one out. The A Data XPG S50 Lite, which is still a uh, PCI Express 4, I think. Hey, uh, yeah, it's PCI Express 4, yeah. PCI Express 5 only came now with 12th gen. Yeah. So I mean, but PCI Express 4 wasn't meant for 10th gen yet. So these boards were basically future-proofed for the 11th gen that came oh, yeah. with the PCI Express 4. Yeah, it's the Z590 master over there that was actually meant for, for PCI Express 4, yes. But that's also a nice thing. Some of the ASUS boards, I remember what was, um, some of them didn't come with the, with PCI Express 4 out already, whereas some of the other boards like the Master Gear actually did, even though it was a generation before it should have came out. Yeah. Ugh. So what on this SSD? I have no idea. I think there's a Windows on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we have a smaller screwdriver here? So yeah. I'm going to need that. Well, I need to put this one wrong. Damn it. Where's the smaller screwdriver? Uh, over there. Okay. Where we took out the... The SSD. See, you've got a guy saying, what's his name? I can't see so far. <laughs> I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I might just... What did he say there? Hi he's from just, oh, he's a fan. He's Saudi, from Saudi Arabia. But I can't pronounce it. And I like the channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> so just let us know if the audio is uh, low or whatever. Um, we're just trying to get this build done as quick as possible. So he needs to get needs to get home and <laughs> continue work. Okay. Right. They shouldn't have come on the radiator first. No, okay. it's, it's at the front. Okay. I'm just asking. <laughs> it's usually the case. If something goes wrong, it's usually with mounting fans. Fans or the radiator placement or something like that. The wrong way around. And sometimes as well, especially if it's a smaller case, um, you think it's going to work, your radiator is going to like fit and reach to the CPU. And then once you actually have it installed and everything, oh no, the pipes aren't long enough. Um, because you need to twist the pump this way because otherwise the display isn't going to show properly and, and everything. It's, uh, it's such a hassle sometimes. You know what I would like now? What? One of those special locky thingies from that other brand. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, yes. Is there a screw? There's a screw. Alright, cool. But these, I actually got it right on the first try. Yay me. Luckily, if it's not inside a system, it's a lot easier. Yeah, true. Okay, awesome. I must say, I do like those new Lee and Lee fans, those modular ones that clip into each other. Yeah. They st obviously still have fans, but it's going to be two fans wiring less. Yeah. So, but they are so expensive. And no, Corsair, that's what you need to do next. We love your fans. But it's just a bit of a hassle <laughs> to yeah, install. We, we are fans things. of your fans, but. Ooh, <laughs> and it's hot. Yeah, like this garage is not. Uh, yeah, green. no aircon, no nothing. Just heat, and we can't put on the fan, the, the bigger fan, our own personal fan. Because otherwise you guys won't be able to hear us. Yeah, yeah, I got it this time. Audio sounds good, thanks, Diego. Oh, awesome. That's the one. Yeah, that's true. Recommendations do you have to place the fan intake and exhaust? So usually um, What I found to be the the coolest is your intake in the front and then you exhaust at the top and the back mm. um, That's usually the placements that I do and uh, That usually works the best for keeping it cool That's pretty much the other standard kind of way to do it. Yeah, but people are always going to have a problem either way mounting anything, so... That's the thing, it... Go check up on some, on some tutorials or, or recommendations of guys that tested it with, uh, with, um, with temps and everything and then make your decision on that. I think every build is going to be different as well. Every case is different, you won't be able to have three fans in the front maybe, only two, or you might have limited space at the top because of where your motherboard sits. Um, it's stuff like that that you need to take into consideration as well.
Tables. This one is You're waiting for me. Uh, yeah, but are we gonna do the radiator at the top? Yeah, I think that's okay. Fine. That's that's gonna be better. Um, because I was thinking the front, but now that I'm seeing it, the GPU might be in the way of the uh, the piping as well. That's usually the case. Yes. So it's the same issue that I usually run into. Well, when I did the build for uh, the the new new build on the smaller version of this case, the four thousand D. Yeah. All right. So now let's see somewhere. Last thing on you. Hello everyone. The tongue. Huh? Are you, is your tongue hanging out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> I doesn't even want to flip. We're gonna do the GPU last. Yeah. Otherwise it's gonna be a struggle getting the motherboard on into the case and everything. There we go. Finally. So I'm that wasn't too difficult. It was difficult, but yeah, it's just trying to get it to fit exactly. Yeah. There's some thunder going on here. For me, it's the air cooler is hanging over the RAM and does not look all too good. True, true. <sighs> or you do the CPU with the air cooler and then there's not enough space to get this one RAM in. And then you need to take off the whole air cooler again and then put in the ram oh it's just usually such a, a schlep are you, are you coming right there maybe you should taking this thing out first and then put it <laughs> that that might have helped you you just need to there we go wait you have it i think so there we go okay just need to see it from the front all right cool okay what's next um, it's pretty much the, the radio. I think we can move this to the side then. Okay, let's move this. That's luckily quick and easy. And now we can take this off. The nice thing of the 5000D, everything just kind of comes off. Yeah, it's very nice. Let's actually show them this side with the little door. Well, we'll show it once we do cable management. Okay. So there's a little door here that actually covers everything up, which is first time I'm seeing that as well. Wow, this is, magnetic dust this is very nice, eh? Yeah. Uh, so the, you've got a lot of space at the top here. So you're not going to mount your fans there, I think. No, right? you'll probably do the radiator here and then the fans on the inside. And probably... Nah... If you really want to, you can probably, but usually it's going to be on the inside because you want your dust filter at the top as well. That's because the dust filter sit directly on top of this. Yeah. So. Ah, okay. That makes sense. It's the first time building inside the, <laughs> this case, so we're also just experiencing as as we go, kind of. I mean, you've got the option. You've got the option if you really want to. Let's say you want to go uh, push and pull. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, you can. Or if you want to put like a custom loop, maybe you put a really thick radiator here and mount your fans at the on the outside. Check this thickness of these magnets. It's pretty freaking big. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like really thick magnets. So the 4000D also comes with the, um, let's see if you guys can just, it kind of sloops in there. Sorry if we get, can't get into all of the, the chats, unfortunately, yeah, guys. The screen is a bit it's far. A bit far. <laughs> so I'll, every now and again, I'll walk around and just see what's going on. Let me just walk past the camera. All right, so. Whereabouts in South Africa are you guys? Ah, there we go. We are in Gauteng. So you guys can see it kind of sloops in there, which is pretty cool. Whereas the 4000D was just flat. So you have a lot more space inside the case if you want to mount your radiator in, uh, at the top whereas the 4000D, depending on your motherboard and the fans you use, there's usually not enough space. So that's why uh, you can check out the 4000D review that we did. Uh, we, and we also did a build. We mounted the uh, radiator and everything at the front and then we mounted like the tubes was at the top and people had issues with that because Gamers Nexus made made a video saying which one is <laughs> which way is the best to mount your AIO but not necessarily the only way so and now people are just 
Freaking out. <laughs> Everybody's just losing their mind. <laughs> um, all right, so now... And the overclocking, no, not tonight, no. I I'll, I'll probably will overclock the CPU, um, but I won't run the overclock on it permanently as I do do video editing. Um, I don't really need to overclock too much for the Premiere Pro. Uh, we're not doing an Elder Lake build, no, we're doing a Sky Lake. It is Sky Lake, right? 11th gen? No, Sky Lake is... Rocket Lake S was the 11th gen. I can't remember the words. So, the, the reason why we're not doing Elder Lake, like uh, we mentioned in the beginning, Pricing wise, it's just not worth it, um, and it's his like new gaming PC for for editing and for gaming, and it's value wise. So it's not necessarily a system that like one of the brands sent over. So that's that's the reason why. Coffee lake, there we go. Coffee lake. Then. All right, so now we just need to see if we can mount this. I think this was designed, or we already set everything up for Intel, for Intel bracket motherboard, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think we might. No, rocket, uh, no, sorry, it was Rocket Lake. Coffee Lake was, I think, 8th eight, eight eight gen. gen. Yeah, yeah. This is Rocket Lake S, if I remember correctly. Alright, so do you want your fans? Um, at the top or at the bottom of the rad? The bottom, at so the we bottom. can see them. Yeah. yeah, so it actually shines inside the case. Yes. All right, cool. So we're going to mount it. Just want to figure out quickly. Um... Uh, the motherboard is the Aora Z490 Master. Yeah, so we're going to mount it at the top here and then we're going to mount it because you can't sorry i'm just kind of figuring out everything here um yeah mount from the top and fans screw in screws in from the bottom all right so so we see which screws we're going to use not come with screws check in the baggie is there the a baggie bags. hey some screws there no, it's not going to be the right ones, but we're probably going to need those. More fans. Screwy, screwy, screwy. Even Wooter barely has any DDR5 stock in stock. Yeah, when I was shopping around for, for hardware, there was no one that had DDR5. Like, no one. I phoned around, I checked everything, no one had DDR5 memory. Um, so that's why I opted for 11th gen. For what I'm going to do, it's going to be more than enough. Um, I mean, I'm currently using the, the WeDoTech 11900K CPU and it is, I, I probably use about 50% of that CPU. So the 11700K will be more than sufficient for me. Um, I mean, I don't really edit that much for Hanyu anymore. Um, and his videos are 4K. The most videos that I edit now is full HD. So the 11700K is going to be more than enough for that. And I'm, then I do do some Adobe After Effects as well. Um, I'll see how the 11700K handles that. But I don't think that the amount of work that I do, I don't do any crazy stuff with that. It should be fine. Are you coming right there? Yeah, no, I was just wondering which screws to use. Here we go. Okay, so what's next? So it's pretty much wrong screw. A wrong screw. Um, see if you can screwed. mount the backplate for the cooler on the motherboard. Oh, Where's the other PC? The part of this is this, this. No, it's this and then the other one's already on the oh. pump. Done. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It is quite uh, humid in here. It's a toasty. Oh. 
<laughs> get the, the black screw so it actually fits. Is this right? AMD. I think so, it just should be fine. Let's see if it actually goes where it needs to go. We're gonna go like this. Tighten that up. Oh, and yeah, luckily we're not doing the 1700 socket because otherwise we only have like one cooler that actually fits. Which guys is that? Which one is that? The Aorus one, which is currently in my system. Oh. <laughs> that fancy one. The fancy one with the screen. It's cool actually that everybody is bringing out now this uh, IOS with, with displays. There we go. It looks like it fits. There we go, so you can just mount some of the brackets on already. Which brackets? This rubber grommet. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's closed. Yeah, I think it's these rubber ones and then... Um... Hey man, we're good and you. I'm not sure where's the manual. <laughs> I might just quickly want to check. Uh, if, if you bring the parts, we can build it for you, no problem. Oh, and then it fell out again. So I'm trying to open this. Let me just put everything down. Screw it. Um, for you, it's really both, but the process also. Not at the moment. Yeah, dude, process are insane. Yeah, so this is more of a system that, probably except the motherboard, uh, it's a system that you would most likely want to build. So, because everything is pretty much, it's a nicer budget range, except maybe the uh, the board, because it's just the, the only Z490 or, yeah, Z490 board that we actually have here. Um, and then, that's also not superly expensive. Uh, well, new the board is stupidly expensive, but yeah. anyway, uh, and the, maybe the, the fans you can go for like cheaper fans But because we're doing a nice little uh, In the in the 5000 D case. I just thought why not just go all out Corsair anyway as well All right, so I think that's enough screws get now. these things in properly. It's quite a little mission <laughs> right, Let's get, get this out of the way Oh that's fine. Nothing broke. All right. Um, All right. Uh, you're saying these rubber grommets must go on here. Yeah. yeah. To keep it in. Pl no, the, these things yeah, are, but I are think very with, loose. Yeah, but I think with this, this cooler, we need to put in the board first, and then it's going to be a two-man job where one needs to um, hold that thing, and the other one needs to screw in the screws. Or hey, it's raining. Yes. Um, do you think you can maybe check the the manual online? The manual online for yeah. the cooler. For the cooler. I'm not. I, I can't I've, remember. I had it here somewhere. Just is it? Yeah. I see if you can get so we can just make sure. <laughs> I, I had it somewhere. Because a lot of the brands usually uh, they sometimes make coolers or AIOs which is just impossible to mount or just not. Oh, no, sorry, it's that one. Yeah, so just check on your phone. Uh, all right, so I need to mount the fans, which is where it is at the front. No, it's at the, the fans. <laughs> the other three fans are here. All right, okay. On the little stapy. Let me check this quickly. All right, so we're going to do a push config here. Aqua, right? Yeah, the Aqua 360. Aqua, Aqua, one of those. Whew. I'll see if our cables for our power supply. That should be enough space to fit. <laughs> right, so we need to take this out. Just take it out for now. And then later on, we'll be able to put that back. So it's a nice little cover that actually covers the 
the back side of your of your motherboard. So if you want to keep it nice and clean, you can cover that up. I have to say this case is pretty cool. I didn't watch any reviews beforehand or anything. It's been out for a while now, but I didn't watch any reviews or anything. Um, and from just opening it up and starting to build inside of it, it's actually it's really nice. Just everything you get. We'll show you guys the back side as well. But for now, I just need to get my brain <laughs> into build mode and spacing mode. Which is going to go where? That's probably gonna go through there. I probably should have actually mounted the, the fans beforehand. That was kind of stupid of me, because I already mounted the the radiator, so this is going to be a bit more of a of a headache to actually mount these. So that was stupid of me, but it's already done. So so that's fine. Come back. I already made the first stupid mistake of the build. I oh, really? Yeah. I should have mounted the fans on the radiator beforehand, but before mounting the radiator at the top. But oh crap. It's fine. It's just a bit of squeezing in. Let's see what the chat's saying. Yeah. Probably saying how stupid I am. So yeah, it's the Overlord, uh, yeah, the 11, the 11 400 for 6 core um, for gaming is a beast, but I'm mainly going to do video editing, that's why I opted for the 11 700 pack. And you got it on special, so. Yeah, and I got it on special. But what, it was cheaper than the 11 700 even. Yeah, 11 700, 11 700 F, so very good price. Uh, Jesse Smith, yeah, dude, I snagged the uh, 11700K for 6 grand. I think usually it goes for 8.5 to 9,000 rand, um, which is, it wasn't bad. Would you recommend the NVIDIA 3060 12 kicker? Uh, it depends what games you're going to play and if, you, uh, if you're going to play on 1080p. If you're going to play 1080p, yes, the 3060 will be more than sufficient. Um, uh, yeah, the 360 will be more than sufficient for 1480p gaming. Uh, stuff like Warzone, Fortnite. Mm. You can just check, we already did a video on 3060s. The 3060, yeah. So you can just see comparisons between like that and some of the other GPUs. But yeah, for... I mean, if that's all that you can afford, then that's going to be <laughs> the best GPU you can get. Yeah, prob think, probably for video editing, the 3060 would have been a better it's, GPU. It's going to be good enough, you know? Yeah. Because um, they usually use the same uh, NVENC encoder. Yes, and it's got more VRAM for, for the editing, so yeah. that would have been nice, but I wanted a good balance between editing and gaming. Um, it's that's going for the TI. But it's also slower RAM, oh, slower DDR, uh, GDDR5 yeah, instead of GDDR5. It's the GDDR6. Yeah, for the 3060. And the GDDR6X for the uh, TI. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. GDDR6 normal for the TI and it's probably GDDR5X for yeah. the 3060 then. Just see, I can't do much while you're busy with that. I think maybe you can start at the back here. You can go at the front and then you can start with cable management maybe. Oh, for, like, for like the fans. <laughs> that is the worst part. Luckily this thing has a little door. Now you're putting it like that so everyone can see what I do. Where's the... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little baggie full of these ties, tie bags. Where was it? You know what I also have in here? There's some tie bags that Asus kindly gave me with the GPU. If you need more, I've got a lot there. Yeah, I know you've got a ton. So now I'm standing with my back towards you guys, sorry. Just feel like that. 
get this out. They don't even give you a support bracket with the GPUs anymore. They do on some. On the MSIs they do. Yeah, on the MSI. But, but also, also it's all in the, like the Triton 5. Oh, the... What's it? The... Gaming Zs or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gaming Zs. The top of the range. So I get, they gave me a little ruler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got no idea what this is for. Um, I think it, it gives you... Uh, 1 to 11 centimeter ruler. 0 to 11 centimeter ruler. With... Uh, like coordinates on it. I went on the coordinates. It's a random street in Taiwan. Uh, it's, probably the, it's probably their headquarters in Taiwan. Probably, yeah. I thought I'm going to win something, but I didn't. And uh, with the QR code, the QR code just takes you to the website. It was very strange. It's pretty cool to see. A lot of like the hardware now, it doesn't say anymore like uh, made in, Ta in China. A lot of stuff says like made in Taiwan now. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So if you do spend that much money on a graphics card, you, <laughs> you get a ruler. <laughs> At least you can measure stuff till what's it? 11 centimeters. Yeah. Is it only? Till 11 centimeters. <laughs> and then they only give you two tiebacks. Amazing. So where is this? The, we're going to take this. To, everything is this going to go to this uh, fan controller? Yeah. So PWM fan, just see where. Good lord! That one's cables also. Yeah. It, but I'm probably gonna rip it through the top. All right, there we go. Yeah, the lighting and the gaming Z cards. Yes. Games I plan to play is Apex, and the new dying light coming third of Feb. Yeah, dude, Apex, you'll probably run with the 3060 on 1080p. I think we maxed it out. Oh, yeah, no. I, I mean, you, like were, you were able to play 4K even on the 3060, yeah. so... Uh, Alright. I think before anything else, we need to get the cables and just route that through. So that's going to be a problem before we mount the... What are these? These are for the cables at the top. Alright, somebody clip this and send to DreamWare Tech. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, but okay. There we go. Let's put this out of the way. Just get all these cables nice and tight. Doo -doo -doo. So we got a non-usable power cord and then oh this is so sexy for my build i'm definitely going to need this power supply back <laughs> that, is, that is a nice uh, if, do you want these cable yes, ties please because this these tiebacks are so slippery and there we have Your white PSU, which again isn't necessarily a nice fit for this case, but uh, it's the only one we have empty at the moment, which we're not using in another build. Uh, once we have, once we have like another one free, then that one is going to take that one instead of the white one. But it has RGB, so that's at least. <laughs> And there's a button for the RGB, so you can turn it off if you want to. Not that you're gonna see it in this case, but... You can probably see it at the bottom, but... Maybe. Do you want white cables? Yes, it's fine. Or do you want black cables? Does it have different ones? No. Now let's do but the I... white for now. I think it's gonna break the black a little bit. Alright. I'm just going to flying around the lights because the uh, windows. No, open. Open. That's my fault. I'm just going to move this out of the way <laughs> before we drop it. And yeah, that won't be fun. Whew. Sweaty, sweaty. There we go. All right. So the cables that we are going to need. There's our 24 pin, a CPU, which is a dual. Yep. So dual. So we're going to need both of these CPU, CPU. And 
then we can figure out the other ones later. If you can take this one. Hey, can you take this one? For the CPU. Yeah, it's just going to be easier. Why am I so confused with these cables right now? <laughs> because there's just so many. Jeez. <laughs> That's that usually the thing that takes the longest. cables. Oh yeah, and you're going to need this one. So the RGB goes inside the lighting I controller. Know which one is the RGB one now? The flat one. This is the RGB one. Yeah. So these fat ones or yeah, ones the thicker ones are the PWM, okay. Hectic stuff. Come on. I haven't built a piece in such a long time actually. I think the last build that I did was the mini ITX one for Rage oh, last year. And that was... <laughs> that oh. was you did it twice. <laughs> that was a, yeah, I did that thing twice. Because we did the one for Rage and then the other one... Was the upgraded one. Was the upgraded one, yeah. yeah. when we modded the case, that other case that we <laughs> So if you guys want to see a nice little build as well, we did the, uh, it was the Cooler Master something 200, N200 or something case. Yeah, it was a nice case. It was a nice small like mini ITX case that we did. It was also with the Ryzen 5900X, I believe. That was it. Yes. Um, in like a m small form factor, 3080 vision from Gigabyte and everything, uh, all white and everything was really, really nice. Uh, it's just a struggle to build. Yeah, so the, so the second build... The second build was with the white uh, 3080 vision yeah. and the, uh, AI, the, the air water cooler. Yes, yep. I think it was actually this. No, it wasn't this. No, no, it wasn't this one. It was, it was, we did use Kruger RGB lights though. Yeah. Just, I can't exactly remember, but yeah. Whew. Mini ITX. <laughs> yeah, that was a pain. Alright, so... This I'm going to pull back. To mount this at the top again, see how that looks. Looks pretty neat. And then, okay. and this is the top one. No, this is beyond all these cables. Yeah, this is the top one. These cables, it's a bunch of properly. There we go. Whew. These two still need to go through as well. The only bummer is you can't fit a like a 140 mil at the back because we do have an extra like two 140s from the HDs. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it's only a 120. It's only 120. Which is a bit of a bummer, but okay. And the weird thing for me is it's there's only space for a 120, and it's the case for a lot of cases. <laughs> it's only space for like uh, width wise for a 120, but like stretch downwards there's more space which doesn't always make sense i know it's like maybe for for spacing depending on your motherboard and your radiator and so on but yeah it's a bit it's a bit yeah whatever all right cool how's your guy over there Messy. I, I can probably mount the power supply so long it's, it's um, a messy situation that we have here we just put those ones there Figure out. Can we twist the, the case a bit so I so they can see me installing the power supply? No. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let me just figure out what else we're going to need. Let me just put this. Let's get these in here. That. That. There we go, that looks a little bit neater. That's mounted. This one. That's there. You just need to kind of mount this one. This one here. And that one, this and that. Yeah. I'll, I'll clean up a bit. Yeah. 
I'm gonna need new sticky tape for this. Because this is full of cat hair or something. It's probably just oh, I'm random hair. <laughs> It's a pleasure, man. Okay. Um, no, don't wait. Go. Go. Alright. Uh, what? Why do you have such a warm garage? I honestly don't well, know it's the why lights, it's the sign. It's the lights as well. Even still, like, you, you, you know, even when we had, like, the aircon inside here yeah, and that was, was on. It was still, it was still quite hot. You want to keep the uh, hard drive caddies at the bottom or do you want to take that out as well? Where's the hard drive caddies? Sorry. Down here. Um, I think we can take them out. Hey? It's just going to be more space for the cables, even though it's a modular. Yeah, now let's take them out. Quite easy here as well. Ah, there we go. Let's see if I can fit my hand inside here. This one needs to come out. This one needs to come out. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fit my hand on the other side. Oh, yeah, no. Which other side are you talking about? <laughs> what do you need to do? <laughs> Ask me. There's a screw here, but we'll do it later. Is it screwing you? Yeah, it, it's, it's, I can't, I can't think of the right word for that. <laughs> Alright, what else do we need? We can probably put everything here at the front, close it up. Go these to the top. Whew. I think the hardest part of building a PC cables is, is trying to figure out what you're gonna do with the cables, where you're gonna route them. Mm -hmm. Like the other stuff is easy, fitting the CPU, push, putting all that stuff in it is quite easy. It's super hot in Pretoria now as well, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Luckily it's raining a bit, but, well, it's drizzling, but it, it's not enough to cool it off. Can he give me this PC? <laughs> you can ask that guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one time I have no say. Uh, I was waiting for those comments. <laughs> Please gift. <laughs> Can you give me? It's a sad story, entire like 50 paragraph sad story about why I need a new PC. <laughs> uh. It's like this PC is literally my livelihood right now. It's like this is how I make money. Alrighty. What are we waiting for now? Alright, so we. Uh, there's a screw yeah, here. that one is loose, you just need it on the other side. That. Oh, it's in at the back as well. There we go. There's that one. Just but they're quite tight, eh? Quite locked behind that. There we go. This is art. There's some screws and stuff in here as well. Maybe I get stickers. <laughs> I don't think for this one. Alright, can you fit this one just inside there and then I can start screwing it in? This is a quite a nice bar supply, I have to say. Can you just fit to that side? Uh, how do I use this? Oh, there we go. Fit back. There we go. Uh, what's inside this thing? What the hell? Can you sure you work for this thing to come out? Something's gone. Cable ties. Hey. Cable ties. 
you know, this is that uh, thing to get the screws, the, the riser, the motherboard risers. So this, it's more like to protect so you don't get oh, okay. Okay, like an extra good. one of those. This is cool. So it's like a 90 degree bend for your USB 3, that big ass thick header, that uh, so thick you can, cable. Uh, because you have the uh, cable cover here, Yeah. that's actually really nice. Look at all these cable tie backs, bloody hell. That's, that's, cross that's Corsair for you. So, ASUS gives you with a 15,000 rand graphics card two El Cheapo tie backs. Corsair gives you this with a two and a half thousand rand case. So, I mean, but I think that's a bit more needed <laughs> for a case. True, true, true. No, that's very true. <laughs> Alright, what else? do we need? I think I can get rid of these. What's the thing? Good guy Corsair. Good guy Corsair. It's going to be it's so sad now. Now I don't have little flex. Sorry. Now I don't have a Z390 and a Z490 and a Z590 and a Z690 anymore. Now it's a 3, 5 and 6. It's taking away my 4. Why is 4... Why is 3 afraid of 5 because 5, 8, 7, 4? That, that failed miserably. <laughs> you know, the, that what's, was a miserable <laughs> fail. Why is 6 afraid of 7 because 7, 8, 9? Yeah. <laughs> Do -do. I All think right. that joke is all better than our parents. <laughs> yeah. I can probably start mounting some of the RGB light so long. Oh, I struggle with this tie back so much. There you go, I'm just gonna leave that for now. I've used these so many times as well. Which ones? Oh yeah, pretty much in every build. Okay, what still needs to be done here? So you can quickly connect those at the bottom. Just don't pull them out entirely. And then we can pretty much mount the motherboard. It's going to be a bit of a struggle, I think, but... This one is a bit longer, right? Oh, this rain on the roof is mm. so nice now. So we're going to say it's going to be this side. Yep. This side is be at the bottom. Actually, bottom. This at the top. Two in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Oh, the asking. Yeah, the asking. Um, In Intel currently. Yeah, with the 12th gens, yes. Also, I think it's probably just some of the 12th gens. Um, yes, I most of I, I saw the 12600K beating the 5900K. Well, what's the? I can't remember exactly the uh, 12900K. So the performance isn't that big of a jump. Uh, the 11700 of the 12700K was and the 12600K. But it's yeah. usually the case with the i9s. It's even with the 11900K that we did, yeah. It's it's not that big of a jump anymore. Um, if you compare it with AMD's Ryzen 9 from the Ryzen 7 jump, it's much more significant than i9 from i7. Um, I, I wouldn't even go i9 for gaming. No. If, if you don't do content creation, I wouldn't go on 9 yeah, Unless you want to flex. <laughs> if you want to flex, go on 9 if And maybe you if you want to stream as well. Yeah, if you want to stream, that's true. Maybe, that's but true. then you, you can like purchase a secondary PC, maybe yeah. a weaker PC to do that. These um, thumb screws for this 2.5 inch is the tightest thumb screws I've felt in my life. Do you want me to say it? What? That was 
as you said. <laughs> what a, the tightest thumbscrew. I feel sorry. No, you can't. It doesn't have. What well, doesn't have a. No. Where? I'm sorry if your thing. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm sorry if your thing is as big as a thumbscrew. <laughs> 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 you see, they're really tight. Wait, which one do you want to get loose? No, I just wanted to feel them. Oh, alright. <laughs> just wanted to touch. Because I saw that there's no like holes for screwdrivers. I was like, okay, this shouldn't be tight then. Alright, uh... Um, what's next? I think we can fit the motherboard now. Yeah. Because you need to do this little thing here. I'm not screwed up with this. Yeah, we'll do that at the, at the later stage. At the later stage. Let me come back to this side so I don't show my back to people anymore. We need some light from this side. There we go. Now we can see. This, these cables. Are, and there was light. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so are we going to have to put the case kind of on its side. Yeah, that's, I'm just trying to pull through these last cables so we can uh, just just wait one second. Get this one off the way. And and there we go. Okay, now all the RGB headers are on this side. Alright, did you get the manual? Do you know how to mount the, the AIO here? Yeah. The all in one, yeah. yeah, it's quite simple. So <laughs> it's got the little rubber grommets on it now. Already, all right. And, and then you in. take these fat screws and you treat, treat, treat. All right. So that thing goes on, and then the screws on here. Oh, they loose though. What the rubber grommets? They're supposed to be like that, yeah. Well, they're not loose, loose. But will it? They they well, it won't fall through. Oh, no. okay. So that that's fine then. All right. Do you want to uh, mount it while it's standing up? It does have like. A that's what she said. <laughs> See that uh, that works. That, that kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> because it has the uh, screw here that actually. Uh, what the hell is that thing? You can just mount it like that. It's a little, little knob there. A little knob. So it's usually nice because then okay. uh, you mount the motherboard already, and it doesn't really go anywhere. Where's the other part of this cable? Well, is it tight? Wait. Oh, there's fan cables there. Okay, that's fine. Just push it, push it so it's <laughs> next to the fan that's so in there. Push Take, more. No, that, that, leave it like that. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to struggle to get the motherboard in. And then we can pull it out. But I think we're first going to need to connect these. Because otherwise, it's going to be really hard because the AO is not oh, the top. Oh, shit, but yes. So we first probably have to connect these. I think we might need to take them out here at the bottom. Uh, I'm a bit tight. There we go. They're both loose now. Mm -hmm. What is it pressing against? The chassis, there we go. Okay, I've got one. Okay. Let's hope everything clears properly. Okay. These. These. I'm not sure if you actually can. Just want to see. See, if it doesn't actually... have the little hole. That's why I was like there. I think. Let's see. We can line it up. So we can see. Uh, yeah, it should fit. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so quickie, keep it like that. Okay. So I can just connect. Just this one mustn't go out here, because that's not going to work. This one must come out. Uh, it keeps getting stuck. There we go. Let me just take it out completely for now. Okay, are you gonna lift wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. We first need to connect all of this. Okay. Smart man. I would have struggled my ass off like I usually do. Oh, 
We're still, <laughs> yeah, we're still doing kind of stupid, but no, it's fine. Oh, you can actually go through here. So let's see. Is this is usually the, the the most difficult part for me. Okay, that's actually just needs to. Yeah. Cables. Just, um, just need to remember to put thermal paste on. Yeah, we'll do that. The nice thing about this case is your cable management really can look shit and no one would ever notice. What do you want me to do? Pull. Yeah. Okay. I mean, probably motherboard screws, right? Yeah. All right. Shut that. There you go. It should be these ones. What are these for? You know. It's just washers, but uh, it's fine. I don't think we need washers. What's the comment say? You guys are so stupid. You don't know how to build a PC. <laughs> Mr. Beast gives you a hundred K, hundred thousand dollars. What will you do with do with it? Uh, Buy Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably crypto. <laughs> well, a hundred thousand dollars is like one point five million rand. Uh, I probably pay off my debt and then buy crypto. Yeah, because you can't really, <laughs> with the pricing for houses these days, you can't even get a proper house even for like one and a half even. No, you can get something decent enough. I just have a weird requirement for a house. Yeah, because you have the studio and everything, it's gonna be a weird requirement. Okay. Do do do, almost done. Almost. Well, I'm probably going to do like one game or something like that. Yeah, we can boot it up. Well, we probably need to download a game, which is going to take time. Of the uh, oh, you rocket. The extreme. Yeah. All the games on there. Let's see if it actually works. <laughs> what? <laughs> to play again. <laughs> well, we still need to. <laughs> it needs to turn on first, and we probably will need to flash the virus. Yeah, we need to. That, that's going to be the biggest thing. Maybe you can get on the system so long um, the the BIOS version, the new BIOS version. Oh, let me get this. So you need to download it. Yeah, and we need to get it on a flash drive. From which system can I can I could do it from the laptop there? You can just do it on the system right there. Okay. Right. Because this one is doing a battery test. I'm seeing how it actually lost freaking forever. I'm. Uh, this is the new era. Yeah, I'm doing a video on the Aero 17 OLED. I have the 15 OLED. Um, well, this is an HDR, but HDR 400, so not really HDR. But the battery is like lasting on like four hours. But there's also the 4K, 4K one. Yeah. I can see. Which is. Bonkers. Why is there weird Chinese stuff on the script? On the script? It's doing some script stuff here. <laughs> it's just uh, PC Mark, uh, PC Mark 10. Well, the battery is almost dead. Finally. You said this system, you just yeah. not keep my fat head in front of everyone. <laughs> Just stand on this side, oh, you can't read really your chairs in the way. <laughs> D490. Don't want to break the thing. 
<laughs> Imagine. That would be a disaster. There you go, this master. There's the master, right? Yes, yeah. Support. Just make sure we're probably going to need just a flash drive and just getting read a bit. I think it needs to be like. I can't remember FAT32 or NTFS of NT. NTFS, I think, yeah. So it's what? F. Uh, F20D. 20D. I think it's just like the newest version. So downloads. Jeez, that was a freaking. That was a huge crack. Neck crack. Ah, uh, down. That's fine. You can just go down. Down, down, BIOS. Down, now down, down. BIOS. BIOS. Up. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so I think that's the newest one. So. That should be fine. Alright, do I have all of the screws? Screws, 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 screws. Looks like it. Back. You sure we should just do the newest one? What's the, what do they say though? Because the description is changed default status of Intel Platinum uh, platform trust technology to enable addressing basic Windows 11 requirements. The F20 is update CPU microcode version 0x3. When did it come out? Uh, this one came out the 20th of. Yeah, March, March, April, April. April. Yeah. And uh, this and that one? The 5th of November. So, like, not too long ago, last month, the month before last month. That should be fine. Okay. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. If it breaks, you, you said it's fine. <laughs> it's still currently my motherboard. <laughs> yes. Show folder with the flash drive. I think I gave it, it's just like a black flash drive. Somewhere around there. Black flash drive that you put on a black mouse pad. Oh, here it is, sorry. Oh. Alright, so let me send this very, very hard you can, case. You command it at the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tall enough <laughs> to mount it in the top. The PC is on a sit stand desk, and this uh, desk is like 1.2 meters high, and it's like a full, a large, it's even larger than this tower. So it's a bit damn high. For me. Even for me. Can I, can I, like, What's on there? Format this. It looks like Windows. Windows. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's the. It's a super light version. It's fine. Yeah. Alrighty. Must this thing be a specific name? Just quickly read up. I can't exactly remember what uh, file format it needs to be. So just go. Probably somewhere. Uh, um, did you download the file? Yeah. Go check in the files directory or file just files. The files files. Should be a tutorial. All right. What's next? Do I need? I can probably throw these. Chrome document. Yeah, I think it's that one. Looks a lot more complicated than it needs to be. To the correct bio's name. Okay. Use the USB flash drive to boot the system in DOS mode. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it should not be. I think a go on. Let's just check the manual. Like in the motherboard's manual. This is like a uh, no. <laughs> it's usually not that complicated. You can usually do it like if there's an Ethernet cable plugged in, just straight through. I mean, you're supposed to press the button and it does it. Yeah, it's just usually it depends on 
it needs to be the right like file format, right? Like XFAT or FAT32. Yeah. Things like FAT32, but. Yep. That's why you never sell. <laughs> Sir, please, can you give me a ball gaming PC full set? No. <laughs> I have a question on my rig. Is 600 watt enough for a 3070 and Ryzen 5 3500X? Depends on what 3070 you're running. Um, I know for like, for instance, the Strix, um, the Strix OC runs quite a lot of, uh, of wattage, I think. I saw the one instance, a guy was running around 500 watts on a, on a system. Yes, um, so 600 watts should be enough, but it's just cutting it like that. PSU might run like almost 100%. You can just check our little review or one of our reviews on uh, 370. Just check the power usage on one of those. I think it's like 300 watts. If I remember right. Price really does not matter. People spend 15,000 rand on a console but won't pay that on a PC. Yeah, but for the, the games that you can play on a PlayStation 5 and the graphics that you get from that console, you're probably going to spend around 40,000 rand on a PC to get the same ray tracing performance and stuff. 4K right. 60fps. So FAT32. FAT32 needs to be, and then right. so, Does it need to be a specific name? Extract the files and save the new BIOS file For example, whatever F.F1 .F to your USB flash drive or hard drive Note the USB drive or hard drive must be Alright, so I, I don't think you need to rename Anything, restart post can access the post, however, if the bios, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, there I am. <laughs> I'm watching on the on the <laughs> on my phone here. I'm almost like gone. <laughs> Your phone is quite delayed. There's like a yeah, it's two or three life. minutes delay. There we go for life. Okay, full make complete. Okay. All right. Um, let's quickly connect all of these. Uh, unzip, extract all to. I'm just gonna close the window. This extract. All the hojas are coming in. Oh yeah. Okay, it's extracted now. What, what else needs to be done here? So, I don't think it needs to have a different name, so I think that's fine. We can just check. Once we actually have everything running, then we can, okay. we can go back. Okay, I'm just going to safe remove that. Should be uh, that sh uh, 600 watt should be fine. Dude. What CPU does he have? Uh, 
3500x. I mean, the new Ryzen, the Ryzen's are very low on. What is the 3500? Yeah. But they're low on the power. I think the 3500x is like 75 watts TDP if it's even that high. Yeah, but it's usually more. <laughs> yeah, if it's gonna overclock, it's usually more. I'm just with what th thermal. What's AMD's thing? Thermal velocity boost or something oh, yeah. like that. But you can just turn that off if you want to. I'm keen to try the direct storage on Windows 11. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, I'm not even on Windows 11 yet. I went on to Windows 11. Um, quite enjoy it, it's not bad. Bought motherboards on any cheap ITX boards that supports 5000 series. Yeah, the B550s. B550s. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> cheap. cheap. <laughs> it's, it's not cheap necessarily as with motherboards five years ago. A mid level board was 2000 Rand. Like oh, a, yeah. B, a B board was like 2000 Rand. Now you're looking at a cheap board is 3500 Rand. So. That's unfortunately the case with all PC components now. It's it's become so mainstream with and with COVID last year, I think gaming has exploded to such a state that not only the chip shortage, the worldwide chip shortage, it's it's a whole the whole industry was affected um, with, with COVID. Um, people started getting into gaming much more. Um, Consoles have been selling like crazy. Uh, yeah. Guys have been building PCs. PlayStation, like crazy. Uh, Sony actually reduced the amount of PlayStation they produced because they they couldn't uh, get enough chips. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's like it like millions of PlayStations that was but I was affected by it now because there's a certain part that they can't get because of the chip shortage, and it's everywhere. It's it's even in the automotive yeah in the automotive industry. Um, but what happened in the automotive industry is they reduced the manufacturing of the, the ECUs with lockdown last year because they, obviously they knew they're not going to sell cars. And now all of a sudden with uh, interest rates and stuff that went down, people can afford to buy the cars, cars but there's no cars available. So it's, it was just such a big mess. Everything was a mess, to be honest. Yeah, and the scary thing is one part can delay production like entirely. Yeah, definitely. I'm not aiming for a Biostar X470. Biostar X470. You don't really know the Biostars that well. Biostar? Yeah. If I had to go for a cheaper brand, I, I would go for Airstrike, yes. Um, maybe check. Uh, Spend like two or three hundred rand more and go for an AS Rock or AS Rock. Uh, that, that, that's what I would recommend. Alright, so I think that's fine. We can, I think we can mount the cooler. So I think let's just put it on its side. And you don't need to go for X board to overclock that CPU if you want to overclock. You can actually overclock in a B board as well. Yeah. That's the nice thing about AMD. They are, that's what's nice about AMD. And you can even overclock the non X CPUs as well. Is it gonna close? Magnetic. Alright, so I think let's just put it on its side. And just for the thermal paste and for the mounting. All right, so are you sure that this is enough? I think we need another <laughs> We need another one. No, I'm just joking man <laughs> One of those tubs with the goop. <laughs> yeah, you, you know those ice cream the soft serve ice cream machines yeah. <laughs> uh, Wow <laughs> 
<laughs> Windows is expiring soon. Alright. Dude, you need to buy Windows. <laughs> I have Windows of multiple copies. <laughs> Don't just copy, just activate them. Um, okay, let's do this. You can do the honors. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the honors. Rather do a bit more than. Give me a tiny bit more, maybe. Just a draw, uh, less than a droplet. <laughs> Like a little, a small little doggy turd more. Yeah, you can mount the cooler then. Like I know everybody's like, less is more, but I don't know. Right, let me, you can hold it down and I can start screwing in some of the, the screws. Just this is gonna be quite a bit. Hard. No man, it's easy. I've done it before on this cooler. So you you press down quite a bit. Yeah. That's the only thing. Look at that. Has. Got it. Give me the screwdriver. This thing moves out, dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hanu likes expensive stuff, but when it comes to tools, if he doesn't get it for free, he doesn't use it. <laughs> the thing is, I don't buy anything expensive. <laughs> I like the cheapest cheapskate you can get. You're stingy, but you like expensive stuff. I like expensive stuff. You won't. If he buys himself something, he won't buy the cheapest one. Let me put it but that if way. I buy. But yeah, if he buys, that's like a big if. Unless it comes to like Mr. D. Then he'll buy the cheapest thing. He'll like bargain on for food. For anything food. I hate spending money on food. And clothes. And clothes. But um, I think most guys are. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, I'll check on some of uh, the ITX from ASRock. Thanks for the recommendation. Cool. Compared to SFX uh, to ATX BSU, which is better if they have the same? Um, I would always say rather go for ATX. Um, you only want to go for SFX if you want to go for an ITX, mini ITX build. And uh, otherwise, there's no use case. And usually, you pay a lot more as well. XFX. That's so. a brand. No, no, it's the size. You remember the how small the power supply was on um, the mini ITX system that we built? Oh, is that the, the size of the power supply? Yeah. So, um, you but if the rating is the same, they're usually the same. This one is difficult. Because it's... otherwise they won't have the, the same rating. It's like the screw, we need to push it from the back. It's like it doesn't... You see that one? doesn't stick out as much you see so we lift it up a little bit well we need to Ooh, open the door what was that that didn't sound good oh no it's just a little the okay. cable the cable for me yeah, you can definitely pop that no you t <laughs> wait <laughs> wait I'm not pushing you back it's turning around in circles there we go Where's the other screw? There you go. Do it even spread. I think we needed to add a new title. <laughs> Two idiots building a PC. <laughs> but Jay-Z already did that. <laughs> <laughs> Two more idiots building a PC. Yeah, I haven't done this in a long time. Like we both worked at an IT retail store for, uh, I was there for six years. I was there for like almost two. Yeah, it was there for almost two. And we did this quite often. But I know people like building PCs and I, I don't mind it. But 
if I could pay someone to do it, I would. <laughs> the thing is, because we've built so many PCs, yeah. it, it gets a bit tiring. Yeah, especially if you struggle for three days on a mini ITX build. <laughs> <laughs> and you're crunched for time, actually. Yeah, you're crunched for time because uh, there's deadlines and stuff. It needs to get edited and everything. All right, so now you can do the honors of connecting all of your additional cables. Oh, good lord. Are you gonna do the RGB thingy in the back? Oh jeez, oh, all right. <sighs> okay, we do need more cables. What is this? What is this for? Um, it's for the hub, I think, for the fans. Okay, and this? That is for the back fan, I think. Oh no, it's, uh, this one may, might be for the for, uh, for the helmet. But we're probably going to disconnect the top fans and run that off the CPU. Uh, okay. Did it come with a, a uh, splitter? I'm not sure. I don't think it came with a f splitter. This is Thunderbolt. This motherboard doesn't have a Thunderbolt connector header. What? No, that's just uh, USB-C. Okay, but this motherboord doesn't have it. Am I right or am I wrong? No, it does. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I have any USB-C devices to connect it with. My phone. I can connect my phone. Okay, let's start with the audio. Thank you. Where's the audio? Oh, great, that's this side. Trying to mount everything, nice. <laughs> the struggle. That's that. Is that USB 3 bendy bendy thing? Yeah. This is not, I must say, this is quite That's cool. pretty cool, it's the first time seeing that. Yeah. Because this is usually the cable that I hate the most. Yeah, because you can't really bend it. Yeah, it's so freaking stiff. Lord, I'm gonna get in here. Eh. Eh. You might need to take. There you go. Nice. Uh, just pull it back a little bit. Sorry, I could probably do it myself as well. Yeah, we might need to take this cover off. Sometimes. Right now, I also need to see which one goes where, which one is number one. I'm pulling off this rubber thing now. Thing is a little bit in the way this plate for the it's a bit wonky 
Now the 90 degree bend is nice, but the issue is where it sits, where the cable comes through, it's not level with the where the USB 3 header. Uh, See, so that's also the problem is they need to design the case, but it's not always, they can't design it for every single motherboard. Yeah. So what they could have done here is, there's a little gap between these two cable uh, gateways. If it was just one long slit, not mm. the gap, it would have been perfect. What's going on in the chat? How about noise levels on the level of SFX PSUs? How are they very low? So uh, usually they do also have like a fan. Hey Byron! Uh, they do also have a fan stop mode and everything. <laughs> the more systems you build, the more you hate building systems. That's very true, dude. Uh, the specs 11700K, uh, 3060 Ti, Z490 Master, a Corsair 5000D, a Corsair. SCX 750F RGB power supply, uh, 32 gigs of uh, ADATA D50 Spectrix RAM, some Corsair fans, yeah, cables, okay, there's cables, white ones, and a lot of them, yeah, there's this bendy thingy that I'm not gonna <laughs> use. Z490, why not Z490? Because the My 11900K has the... Yeah, it's in the Z590. Yeah. Uh, but the Z490, this one does have these out stress for. Uh, SSD that we're running. Uh, I think that light was PCI Express 4, but it was like a slower PCI Express 4. It was a little so. bit faster than PCI Express 3. Yeah. Are <laughs> you being cheap on you? <laughs> no, not necessarily. Who said that? Uh, Byron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm giving him a great deal on the board. <laughs> yeah. Motherboard B450 Ashrock ITX. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. Which, uh, which one? Which is the Fatality? Fatality. SFX 752 terabyte laptop hard drive, 500 gig, NO2 SSDs, Cooler Master NO200Ks. That Cooler Master NO200Ks is the one that we built the uh, Rage PC in. Good luck. We've got two videos on those. Yeah, we've, so. yeah, we've got two videos on that. So, so good luck on that piece, on that case. Yeah, the fatality is very good, dude. I had the B360 fatality before this. I'm very impressed with that board. Uh, it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, but it's it, the PC is for me for, for video editing and some gaming on the side. So spending the extra three grand on the i9, I just couldn't justify the little performance increase that I would have gotten. Um, so I think I'm gonna be happy. And then <laughs> the i9 comes in handy during the winter. Uh, I must agree with you on that one because the 11900K is currently at my house. And the, the office is extremely hot during the winter. But okay, that was when I was running two PCs on there. So I had my old system doing like my exports. I would edit on the i9, throw it over to the i5 and that would export the stuff. Uh, where do you want your GPU cables to reach through? At the bottom here or at the front? I think at the bottom... Mm. That might be better, yeah. No, it, no, it's see, gonna it's be, quite a stretch. It's going to be better, but it's going to get in the way of my very sexy RGB strip on the side. Where is it? I had it somewhere. I forgot where I put the GPU. No, it's not there. Is it there? Is it still in the box? I think it's still in the box. What, did you get an RGB strip? It's the strip, so it's got that huge RGB oh, on the side. Okay, well, well, we'll see you when we actually install everything. Uh, now I can take all the stickers off the card. <laughs> Alright, so let's push this 
through here. Go away, little bug. Jumping bug. Oh, stickers. I don't know if I want to take the stickers off. I'll take this sticker off. Because it's an ugly one, this plastic thing. There we go, that's one that's one off. This one already peeled off because I have started using the GPU. <laughs> <laughs> Just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. No, but in all honesty, because uh, I used to, uh, well, I used Honey's 980 to export with, and uh, it, yeah, I, I did like quite a lot of videos. And uh, how am I going to root this? To root what? And the uh, Cougars. I uh, uh, for the uh, RGB cable. Something probably around there. So let's see if my fingers are long enough. There we go. finished up my review of the 1200k today and I have to admit I'm super upset how hard it runs. Yeah dude, uh, the, new t the new Intel CPUs, the amount of power that they draw is ridiculous. Um, especially if you run boards that go over the, the Intel regulated TDP. Um, and I also think it's a lot of the coolers. Did Byron say that? Yeah, Byron said that. So I think it's also the coolers. The only cooler that I found, well I've only used like two. But I read also that a lot of the coolers, because they were designed before uh, Intel actually released the CPUs, um, like the um, the Water Force X240 from from Aorus, um, it doesn't make proper contact uh, no. with the IHS. And uh, the only one that I found, and I think the, um, Linus also made a video on it now, is the ASUS. Ryzen 362 or, or something, uh, but I think that's because it only came out. It's not even like officially out yet or something. So um, I think later on they will we'll see new ones or like gamers next year will probably do like a full video on that. Hopefully, so we'll be able to make sure. But um, when I did the review, the video on the. Uh, Z690 or S Pro and compared to the Z690 uh, uh, Euro from ASUS where I used the ASUS cooler, the attempt was better. So it's... I might be wrong but that was just my experience for now. And also only on two coolers. So not a wide variety of yeah, the, the, yeah, the wattage output, that's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, okay. The, the 12th gen stuff is... I'm not surprised it's performing the way it is with the amount of power that's running through the CPUs. <laughs> More power. Yeah. It's like a V8. It's literally things that split a, a, like gone this like literally turned around. Because that's used to be, the thing, yeah. AMD used to run very hot with very high wattage. Well, well, even some of Intel's previous, um, they wanted to go more efficient. So if you like, if you take a look at some of the others, the previous CPUs, um, they kind of didn't improve much, but they were more efficient. Yeah. And now they saw that well, yeah, we like needed to. It. Like screw it, we, we don't care about power anymore. We don't care about efficiency anymore, yeah, we just want power. Yeah. Uh, this is just annoying. Because huh? I mean, even the first generation of Ryzen's, they were very hot. Yeah, but that was also because it didn't do a proper reading on like the IHS or, or something. I can't exactly remember. 
This is a wrong sensor reading. This is the most difficult plastic to pull off of a graphics card I've ever had in my entire life. Like, the plastic peeling is supposed to be one of the most satisfactory parts of PC building, but this is just like... Uh, Alright, let's just quickly figure out... It's kind of annoying that he didn't get a fan splitter. You should have one somewhere, dude. Those Lee and Lee fans had fan splitters in. But I might need to sell those. If you use 2P with 8E, so 6P disabled, it's still 125 watts at stock frequency with all its mental. A quarter with the P cores and half the white each year, dude. <laughs> That's why I said it's, in, it's insane. I played with the P and E cores as well as the frequency disabling P cores moves the wattage down drastically. And also the heat like 1P and 8E. And it was 15 watts, no jokes. 2 gigahertz and it was, wow, okay. Byron did a lot of research. Yeah, no, I can see that. I think Intel's chasing frequency is 100% the reason for the wattage. Alright, you can use this one. Yeah. But I mean, I think those VRMs are also like mainly for the amount of power that they need to handle to those CPUs. I mean, like we're saying now, I think I saw a thing on the, I think it was Tech Jesus, that, uh, that 12700K, that they had like 250 watts, just insane for a CPU. I mean, I think that's what the 3060 Ti pulls. I pulled around, I think I maxed with the i7 with a basic overclock. I think peaked like, like 220. Yeah, you see. I think that like the 3060 or the that stuff, that's what they pull. the most annoying parts just trying to get all the cables right. get all the cables bloody hectic this the worst stickers ever like asus you just destroyed satisfaction that satisfactory feel from pulling stickers <laughs> off satisfying feel okay is this gonna go in soon yeah, I just need to figure out. Phone was back there. Where is this one? What do you look? What What are we doing here? Just need to are, are you still busy with the fan cables? Yeah. Ish. Did you cable ties the fans? So it's a fan cable. At the top, yeah, but oh, it's right, only okay. the tip. Right, yeah, that's fine. Just wanted to make sure it's the right ones. Okay. But now I need to figure out which. Like all the PWM ones are here, I put all the RGB ones here. Oh, you need one? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it's the wrong one. <laughs> Where is that one? What are you looking for? Which one? This one's cable. I can't see it. <laughs> it should be from here. It's the other one of these two. Oh, alright. Just cut the cable tie. Where's the uh, clippers? I think it was this one. It's okay. fine. Otherwise, we're not going to close it up entirely or do all the cable management for now. Just need to see if it boots and then we can rearrange all the cables.
You don't want to. Yeah, you can as well. You don't want to install your Type C. Oh. Install that one. Wait, what's the header? That flat one over there. So this is the Node Pro. So that RGB fan hub goes into here. And then you have an additional port for either a single cable or another hub like that. Why do you need a node for a hub? <laughs> because otherwise, otherwise you need the Commander Pro, which has, which has like that hub with fans and everything included. But that's like, more than a thousand rand just for the hub. That's crazy. All right, so. And it's got a mini USB as well. Yeah, and that connects to the motherboard. And we need a SATA. Whew. And what happens with these little totties? So, uh, all right, so we quickly need cable on one of those. So it's a three going into a three, I think it's one of these. I hate these power button cables like really could have not invented something better yet these yeah that's it's super annoying the front i always does this board not come with that little blocky it, it might you can check in the box why did your thing come with the blocky <laughs> I think it did. Still need to figure out everything that he's buying from me, but I think it was like 12. Yeah, so 12 plus the CPU is 6, 18 plus the GPU was 15 and a half, so we're on 33 and a half plus the screen is about 40. Okay, that's just for the system, okay, for the system, yeah, about 34,000 plus minus roughly. Hmm. It's a lot of money, but like I said earlier, this Let's is literally. In here. Oh, we're getting intimate now. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, this is literally what I make a living with. So, there you go. and my PC bombed out. Jeez. Um, 
I think uh, lightning got hold of my old machine so I had to do the old insurance claim all that bloody hell these things just do not want there we go I want a coffee so bad right now. No, let go. It's, it's nine. <laughs> oh, dude, you sound like a five-year-old. I can't drink coffee because it's a bit I'm not gonna late. sleep. Is there any other cables that I still need to put in there? It feels like there's more cables that you get. There's no speaker. Okay. LED power. These cases don't really come with LED power anymore. Mm -hmm. Power LED and. I don't know what that means. One for the one for the one for the one for the RGB extension. This was so much easier than trying to get these little cables into that hole. I still feel like Motherboard manufacturers should put all the cables at the back. It's not, everybody needs to work together to get that right, and nobody's going to do that. So how much cleaner would it look if all the cables are 24 pin and these small little front I.O. and CPU pin and all these cables just went into the back? You just had your cooler, your RAM, your graphics card, and the front. Let's just make everything wireless. I think the chances <laughs> of all the cables going in the back is less, more likely to happen than a wireless PC. But if it, everything is at the back, you're probably going to need a case that's like that thick. That's fine. Yeah. It's only like one case or a few cases like that, but that's, that's all. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to fit on your desk. Yeah, it will on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think that's pretty much it. That's GPU done. Yeah, so you can do the honors of installing your GPU. So that I just need to see. take these off first. I just need to see which. Um, uh, do you want water? Yes, please. It's those two. Yeah, M.2 doesn't have cables anymore, that's true. That's that's big already, like, remember back in the days when you had like five or six hard drives in there, it's just SATA cables everywhere. Then you've got those red cables coming out and you've got black ones and white ones. about new cables they're very tight Quality evening entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling. Uh, I wish the CPU power wasn't in the top left. That's true. What's that? CPU power in the top left. Because that's just a struggle yeah, to that's... Really get, get it. Ah, Especially if your that. case is like really compact. Uh, USB C header is a step in the, in the right direction. That's true. Agreed. Why not just have literally everything plugged in via Type C? Same. Yeah, we've also said that previously. Yeah. 
And N.2 has no cables anymore. And N.2, or M2. M.2, yeah, like NVMEs and stuff. They don't, like SATA cables, yeah. they don't use that anymore. Uh, yeah, M.2 can still be frustrating. You have to take your GPU out. That's true, but if a lot more uh, manufacturers implement that, uh, what ASUS did with the Q latch design thing, where you don't even need screws anymore, that's really nice. I'm not sure if it's patented or anything, but uh, that's really cool. And also their Q release thing with the button that you can press to to release your GPU. Um, now, unfortunately, you pay for that. I, I quite a bit. <laughs> I, I was laughing at Hanu because I edited the one video. Um, I think it was the ASUS, the, the Euro. The Euro. Yeah. And he's bragging about this little button that you push to release the, the, the graphics card. And you don't need to worry about using a screwdriver to get into the latch anymore. What does Hanu do? Not three seconds later. He uses a screwdriver to get the, the graphics card out. The yeah, only problem with that is the first time trying to get it out. I thought it was going to push your GPU out. And it actually just like disconnected. And I could have pulled the thing out, but I yeah, I didn't realize it at the time. That was so funny. But the second second time it, it was fun. I had a nice little laugh by myself. Where the hell is that cable now? Why are you struggling so much? It's only one way. There we go. Ah, uh, you wanted to do it through at the bottom yeah. ones. Because oh, okay. it was like hanging here. Then you probably need an additional one. Why? It's fine. Because it's only come to like there. It's fine. Okay, we probably need it like that as well. Alright, no, it right. should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Ugh. Where's my water? On the steppy. On my, my water. Alright, now we can quickly show them, not the back side, the front side. But that's how the system looks. I think we probably need to change the cables for the power supply and later rather... Well, yeah, you said you wanted to... So it's not in front of the RGB strip, but... I think it'll probably look a bit better coming from yeah, the bottom. I think so as well. But we can do that later. <laughs> Time is running out. I think we just need to actually get the system on. Yeah. Um, all right. So power. <sighs> all right, and then uh, let me just we have HDMI here. Luckily we already had windows running well on the thing. Yeah. Um uh, just want to figure out. It's in to which screen there. to which screen are we running? It's gonna go into a capture card. Oh so it's going to show up here and then we can just like share it or throw it next to the display. Alright, let's see if Everything was actually turned on correctly. Okay, remember we still need to do the BIOS update. I just actually want to see if it actually was this flashing red. Uh, that pushing against that cable after oh, the fan is pushing Cable is pushing against the fan. Nope. I know you'll move. Alright, let's just turn it off. It's the GPU power, and I wonder if it shouldn't have. Yeah, GPU power is in. Okay. I think we just need to do the flash. There we go, that should work now. All right, you're ready for flash. 
Where's the flash? I know, you did the flash. Oh, yeah, here's the flash. Aren't we supposed to see the bios? No. Okay, which which slot does it go into? Into the this bios. Bios USB 3.2. Been such a long time since I actually did a bios flash. Um. CPU is in. Uh, it should, we should be able to go into. Let us see. I can't remember. If we actually go. But it's just boot looping now. Can somebody just quickly uh, comment? I can't exactly remember. Can you post with uh, without a CPU? You can't, right? I can't remember. So I just want to see if we can just get internet to the board. We can probably do a, a bar just through through internet. I can't remember. Byron should know. Uh, with a bars flashback, you can. Using the button on the back. Okay, so do we switch on the machine and press the button and then it should do a bias flashback. How would, we, how would we know if it's working or not? So I know we did it before uh, on computer mania a few times. I just can't remember. And I don't wanna. Let me check if I can find a YouTube video. <laughs> no, let's try that. I'm just quickly gonna see if we start up again. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Every motherboard is different, and uh, depending on. Sometimes you need to rename the files and so on. So I just want to see if we... If it throws any... Doesn't... Byron already sent the video. Salazar attack! System. This is important. I've tested this with and without other files, just kind of spontaneously present. And in the case of this board, uh, the, the motherboard didn't even know that there was a, a .cap file in there. The .cap file or .cap file is the BIOS update file. So only have the .cap file in the root of the drive. Now in our case, we downloaded... All right, let me... The most recent BIOS update for this motherboard from Asus is from Asus. Mine, and it will rename the BIOS from beta, but I fully tested it and I don't see any problems with it. Once it's downloaded, extract the file, and then you're going to want to run this BIOS rename tool here. It just opens a little command line. We don't have that. Also, there's one of them don't cap here. <laughs> uh, I think it's the this one. I can't remember if you just need to rename it though. To what? Uh, sometimes you need to rename the, the stuff. Oh. Ah, 
doesn't say anything yeah the only thing now that yeah, I see the what I could see on YouTube now was uh, this express install where you can boot into Windows already and then with their software you load the Updating by using the QFlash utility. So now if we only had this light, we could see if this video is actually legit or not. With YouTube. Yeah, stupid. Bios flashing is potentially risky. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's potentially risky. What now? Bar Byron sends <laughs> sends me a uh, a link. And it, you got rickrolled. This one got rickrolled. Nice, Byron. <laughs> recrawled on a live stream. First time being recrawled. <sighs> Why don't we just use the QFlash utility? Says, yeah, from Gigabyte's website, under the latest compressed bio file update, da -da -da -da, extract the file and save new bios. File example, what 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 do you use? Be flash drive or hard drive. Note the flash drive or hard drive must be in FAT32, 16, or 12 file systems. Restart the system during the post. Press the end key to enter Q flash. You can access Q flash by entering end key during the post or clicking the Q flash icon or press F8 key in bio setup. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a rename that I'm worried about. It doesn't say you need to rename it. it just says in, in post. They said in post, right? Well, yeah. post. Yeah. Because we don't even really go into post. See, that's the thing we might. No, that's socket twelve hundred. So the eighty seven hundred K won't fit in here. No, it, no, that it's 10th gen that'll fit. And we don't have a spare 10th gen CPU. Uh, so it's 10th and 11th gen. Yeah, we don't have a, have a gen. No. So we need to figure out a way to flash it without a CPU. It's just, it's weird that it's in a boot loop, I think. It's possible in the boot loop because of the CPU. So we also just did extract. The thing is, you have these gates uh, post. We don't even get post. That's that's the problem. That for me. Uh, what did we get wrong? That's connected. CPU does it. Is yeah. on the CPU fan? I think let's really take out the RAM and just yeah. put one in.
Okay, set the on the power. Don't let it rain off. Just wait. This thing isn't freaking out anymore. Okay, there we go. Are we sure the connectors are right? It's not in the uh, wrong way around. Should be fine. Let's just recheck. Let's just in plug in the uh, the power cable. This PW. Yeah, that's power. Power LED. No, you can, let's just plug in the power just like that. Just straight. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. And I think the name is going to show at the bottom. Looks right. Okay. Why is all the RGB except the RAM going on? The thing is, I just want to see postcodes. Um, That's the biggest problem for me. Yeah, it's not even giving a postcode. None of the post and none of the LEDs are going on. Let's uh, use my phone. There's no error code. Can you see down there, Ron? Can you see down there which light lights up? It says CPU. So we're all going to need to... We need a different CPU to flash these bios. What happens if we try to boot without the CPU? Don't you think we might get a post then and be able to update the bios? Mm, might, I can't remember. I haven't done it like that before. Uh, name of the board, the... Uh, C490 Master Ray Aorus. Yeah. Uh, is that single them in slot 1 or 2? Uh, slot, slot 2. One. Yeah. Unplug RAM and try starting to see if it posts. Unplug RAM entirely. Yeah. I'm trying that. Usually, <laughs> don't be lazy, boys. That took longer. Mm. No, it's still in the boot loop. It's not bursting. Still giving a CPU error. I think let's switch it off, let's take out the CPU, check if it boots. So we want to check. Because the thing is we have a video right here. But they immediately went to a post at least. But what CPU are they running? See, they're running a 10th gen. Ah, uh, okay, why. so that doesn't matter. Now what's, what's the use? I hate videos like that. <laughs> We wanna. Sure. The house vibrators are. Right. 
Quickly, yeah. Down at the update on the pen drive and pray, pray your motherboard has a flash utility. You turn on the PC with the pen drive, so flash drive, in the port and it will show the light when it's updated and finished. Um, put the BIOS update on the flash drive and use the BIOS flash button on the motherboard. Use your manual for, insistent, for assistance. So what it sounds like is we should put in that flash drive and press that Q flash, basically. Yeah, I'm just But the thing is, it boot loops, so you don't have time to. So I think we can just do it like this then. All right. So I think we yeah uh, we need to take out the CPU. Okay. And then no CPU, no RAM, just PSU twenty four pin cable and CPU cable. Just needed to flash BIOS. Okay. Let's just do that thing. Yeah, I need to take everything out. All right, luckily we don't have to take out the power cables here. We can just take it out over here. So no graphics got either, most probably. Yeah. CPU on without bending the pins. Oh, that should be, shouldn't be a problem. It's going to be more of a problem to get the Take that flathead. Okay, are you gonna catch the CPU?
By the time that we are done, it's curfew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Where's the flash drive now? Uh, it's in the system up there. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what did it say? Huh? What does it say? Okay. That's the computer around this type of PS3. Important CPU power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's fine with all of the. Uh, okay, wait, so we need the CPU. Power, okay. Oh, did you unplug it at the bottom? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's nice. I'm going to switch it on and there's a little light flashing. No, it's flashing. Alright, it's pretty. Switch it on. So you didn't switch it on, you just press the button and that starts it, you see? Alright. See? Button. Presses and holds it in and then it's the flash. Flash. Okay. I don't think it's supposed to be on the PC. Well, it's... There was it on earlier as well there. Yeah. One RGB. You want to try it? Ooh. BIOS. There's a little BIOS light flashing. See, and yeah, that's. I uh, got. Make sure you uh, rename the BIOS file to gigabyte.bin. Uh, and. And that the uh, rest of the files from the zip are also in the root of the flash. <laughs> That's a problem. They make it so f damn complicated. Ben, what should be named Ben? In the top file, I think. Must I rename this to Ben? Uh, gigabytes all caps dot Ben. But it's dot f twenty one c. Yeah, I think so. A while back I did it like that. That's why I'm so a bit worried. Page 1901. I think I checked that. I'm just worried about all the naming schemes and everything. Because everybody's different. Every Different variation of a board is different. Page 91 in manual. Yeah, I got that. They aren't really give much e explanation. Press the Q flash uh, plus a button, our system will automatically search and match the BIOS file. Uh, uh, oh yeah, sorry, Yuri. From Gigabyte's website, download, uncompress the download uh, BIOS file, save it to the USB and rename it to gigabyte.bin. There we go, yeah. So this one? Yeah. Uh, upper caps to gigabyte, lower caps dot bin. Yeah, you know, and just delete the other. Like that? Yeah. Change it, yes. I think copy all of the other files into root. This root one as well? No, no, take off the other files, yeah. all of those files, and copy it into the root file, root folder. This is the root folder. No, there's a root folder. Uh, it's boot, sorry, it's boot. Boot folder or root folder? Um, no. Because this is the root folder. The first folder on a flash drive is the root yeah, folder. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay. Mustn't the root folder stuff also be in the root folder? 
Please turn on the power supply before connecting them. Alright, I think I think that's it. This mustn't be these two mustn't be in the folder as well. I'm not sure that they didn't say anything. Um, and that the rest of the files from the zip are also in the root of the flash. I, th I think that's correct. I'm back. What is the progress? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try it now. It's just weird that it starts up immediately. And then... Maybe if we hold in the power button so it switches off. I'm gonna take that out. Okay, switch it on. See, it switches on immediately. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, just wait, see. wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna press it? I While it's boot to, looping. I need to press, put this in. Put that in and then switch it on, maybe. No, they said you need to switch it on oh, first. Okay. Well, it stopped boot looping. Where's this? Where's this? Oh, we can't see jack shit. Yeah. Alright, so here we go. Okay. And then they said this is flashy. It's flashy. Press the flash button. System will automatically search for a mass file, USB drive on the bus. The Q uh, F LED and the Q flash uh, plus button on the rear panel will flash during the bus matching and flashing process. Wait six to eight minutes, and the LEDs will stop flashing when the bus. Flashing is complete. So if it doesn't stop within six to eight minutes, we just bricked a Z490. Alright, we got some time. When's curfew? 10, 11, 12, 1. 12. Alright, we got enough time. Uh. Which one did we do? I think it was for. Christian that we actually did it did the same thing what is the problem? the problem is we're running a 10th gen board with 11th gen CPU and we're trying to update the BIOS and it's just been so long since we've well There's something I, I can't remember the LEDs went on it's flashing slower uh, slower what does it say when it's flashing slower on it? Nothing. Well, the RGB yeah. went on now again. Yeah, the oh, I'm, I was just stupid in it. Well, there's a. Well, it's not stopping. And there's a little flashy flash going on here. But the system is not uh, boot stopping looping again, now. so that's good. Just have to wait six to eight minutes. I don't press the button, so if it's brick, then he needs to give you the Z590. <laughs> Exactly why I didn't press the button. <laughs> now we can't reset the BIOS now. Now we just need to wait. The problem is we couldn't really reset the BIOS because we couldn't get into the BIOS. And the stock BIOS on the Z690 or sketch. <laughs> the um the uh, NVMEs didn't even work <laughs> on, on, oh, really? on the on the Pro, yeah. And I remember they did send an email saying that I need to update the BIOS, but I, it's been such... They've sent it a while back. Um, but then I just quickly Google searched and I, luckily I found what uh, I just need to update the BIOS. Which is the first thing that you actually need to do anyway. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But the, <laughs> it's so weird, the NVMe just didn't work. That's strange. <sighs> I see flashy still on the front going on, yeah? It's flashier at the back as well. Let's hope for the best.
Where did this come from? Uh, just coming right at the back. Alright. See, Trevor sent me a WhatsApp. I wonder if Trevor's still watching. Trevor's. Watching us struggle? Yeah. Uh, my, my Wi-Fi didn't work at all. Windows update, ORS website, etc. I manually installed via Intel website. I've never updated BIOS. I think it's a, a risky, if something goes wrong. It's not an issue if you can do it inside the, uh, inside the BIOS. Then it's usually because a lot of the, the newer boards you can just connect it to in, to internet and it'll automatically search for the new BIOS and everything. Or you can just pop in the, the flash drive then and it'll pick up the file. And then it's easy. Um, I mean, I needed to do that with the uh, Z690 Pro board from, from my Aorus. So that, that was easy to do. It's just the, the, uh, the flashing, that's it's a bit more nerve wracking. Yeah, BIOS updates is very easy, but this was difficult because you couldn't see, you couldn't get, get into yeah. the BIOS. Because that, that, if you've got a flash drive, you go into the BIOS, you say, that BIOS is fine. Yeah. This was something else. But I think the, the stuff is quite smart these days where it'll just pick up that it's like wrong or something. I hope. <laughs> oh. It stopped. To stop flashy flash. It stop flashy flash. Okay, can we take it out now? Wait, wait. Oh, it's still blinking this side. I think we're done. Are you sure? Well, it stopped flashing. Then what does it say there? It doesn't it's say anything. Oh, <laughs> it's broken, dead. Wait six to eight minutes and the LEDs will stop flashing okay. when the bars flashing is complete. That's it. They are switched off. Okay. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> okay, are you gonna move the thing on the side so we can hold the CPU in there? Yeah, I think just come this side. Okay. <laughs> How jank is this? Is that the wrong way around? No, it's not. <laughs> Unplug the power. <laughs> Doing this. <laughs> That's actually a need to do that. What? Got all of your spit. <laughs> my spit? Oh yeah, because <laughs> I ate it. I've got all my Rona on there. Shame, a buddy of mine was one of the first in South Africa to get that new Omicron. He was actually interviewed by some French news place about it. Like the Followed him in his car, they sat with him in his car with cameras and stuff while he was working. And the thing is, if, if I get Corona now, I'm really going to be pissed. So I don't go out, I don't see anybody else. Yeah, well, it's the same with me, dude. I work from home, I barely go out. Well, you have a, a, a wife and she has to go to work. 
Yeah, and she works. She literally does. <laughs> okay. Luckily, she doesn't do the tests. But, I mean, she does do... She is a phlebotomist, so she needs to, like, do blood tests and all that stuff. She works with sick people. Oh, man, now these cables are all wonky. Ooh. Wait. Okay. Connect the RGB bit later. Yeah. I think let's just put in one for now. There we go. How are we gonna quit the GPU? <laughs> <laughs> we need Corona when building pieces are cancelled cancer enough. You said that the virus. Uh GPU. See, and th that's the problem with like building PCs for me now. It's just, like small issues that that like gets like that arises now. Like this, it's not like super massive or anything. It's just really annoying. Yeah. And if it's your own personal system that you're going to use for very long, then it's usually fine. But a lot of times we just need to build the system because we need to review like the motherboard. Yeah. And then like a week later the motherboard needs to go back. So yeah, then you go through all this basically for one review. Yeah, just so, for like a few benchmarks and then... Okay, I saw both codes now there. That, that's a good sign. That's good, yeah. Let's see. Got a DRAM light at the bottom. Alright, just need to switch this place here. Uh, inputs. Why did it go off now? It's fine. Look at the ball spot on my head. <laughs> I'm bald. Is this, is this normal? It does boot sometimes. Is this normal oh, take behavior. There we go. Right. Read main bias to buffer. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So we're gonna see if we can. Uh... Want to see something? Nope. All right. So it is working. Do not turn off power! <laughs> exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Do not reset system, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. We will not. I promise you. Stay away. You know what's weird? There's like one fan on. <laughs> oh, okay, right, so cool. it's a 3060Ti. But this thing is fat. Like, I remember we, we did the 3070 Strix. I think that was it. We did a 3070 Strix. Yeah. And uh, we did a 6800 XT, I think, Strix as well. But it didn't look like these, did it? No, uh, no, it did. 6800. So. Yeah, that's why I remember correctly. Strix, see? But I, I mean, this thing is fat for like a mid level card. This is a fat thing. Mm hmm. Let's ready to see. Yeah, 6800. Yeah. yeah. You know what bothers me about this card? Just like check here. Look at that gap. And here it's like close. It's like almost skew. No. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> the smallest. But, but check it, it's like the... You can press the whole heat don't, sink don't up. Touch. Don't touch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing with fire, yeah. Uh, what's it? It's funny how things come. Full circle. Through. I started building PCs very young and that's the part I still like the most. It's the same with me. I think I started with my cousins when I was about five or six years old. He was very much into electronics and stuff. Yeah, so that's when I started. Um, but 
go work in retail for six years, mm. building these things. And so needing to fix everybody's problems yeah. and small stuff, or just like, again, same thing, the way you need to update somebody's bios or, and, and then you update it, but it's still, it's, it's still not working yeah. because it's actually something that's broken. It's, it takes a lot of the, the joy away. It finished. Yeah. And the other thing is as well, is the YouTube part of it. Like we spoke about earlier, building a PC like that mini ITX, um, spending like two days, three days building that PC, literally for a light show, just for it to go back. Mm -hmm. It's, it gets very tedious and you get tired of building PCs. Or even if you do it like that. Um, overclocking and benchmarking is much more fun for me. Byron, you've got the patience of a very old man or something. Uh, <laughs> overclocking, I hate it. And benchmarking is fine. I mean, I did most of the benchmarking here. It just gets very tedious. Mm -hmm. um, especially like the amount of benchmarking that I did at one stage. I think for like two months, that's the only thing I did. It's like the same games, the same thing over and over and over and over again. It gets tedious. And mining. God, the NR20P was shit too bold. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we talked about yeah, it quite a bit. Yeah, that's the one. I'm not Shut up, lady. This stupid woman keeps on listening to me. You may check the sub. And now? Uh, I don't know. Just don't, must we wiggle it or something? Maybe it's finished. It's, there's a CPU light on. So I don't want to a little with it now maybe if we plug in a mouse because uh, I mean the screen is like in sleep mode yeah the RGB in front is not plugged in bar and we plug everything out no, it's in. We just need to control it with uh, oh. with IQ. Cheers, Byron. Bye bye. So it still has a CPU light on. Now. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't have a postcode. That's that's good. No. You want a postcode. Oh shit, yeah. Like AO or mm -hmm. A0. So we still have to... Are we still waiting? Is this thing not have brakes? No, it's broken. That's what happens when you do funky stuff on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it can go up and down. Exactly. You don't even have to do anything. <laughs> it's just a bit slow. <laughs> so I know the cable sometimes is a bit of an issue where it's But you said there's no postcode. Yeah. Because that cable is sometimes a bit long. It doesn't want to send the full signal out sometimes. I'm just going to get this nice quick display. There's a little light, orange light on here, but I can't see what it is.
there's no display. So I think we just need to restart. Okay. Uh, does it have a restart button? Uh, it switch. Yeah. So hopefully it doesn't break anything, but. Did that even reset? Isn't that like resetting the wires? Mm -mm. Oh, let's just do the power button. Alright, friends. Because the reset switch we pulled. Start, shut down. Full C, C1. Got a C1 there. Shut down. What does the C1 first code mean? I'm gonna try. There? I think it's entirely at the back. It's nice to see what. C0 to CF reserved. Well, that helps a lot. Are we getting the display? No. Memory failure. Okay. Alright, so let's just switch off at the back. We probably use a different memory module. Oh, that's not is it the right side up now? I think so. Right, let's see. Definitely, most games don't work on hard drives anymore. The loading times are horrible. It's, this looks promising. Oh, did you plug it in there again? Yeah. 7 f Build the RAM again. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, there. Treating main boss to buffer. 
but why would it work with that one RAM and then restart and not work again? I think we switched RAM modules. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Oh. Do not turn power off. Yeah, that's what we saw earlier as well. Yeah, but we turned power off. Yeah, but the, we couldn't see anything. And it wasn't like 80% where mm. it just stopped. See, now there's still a postcode. Oh, I'm just gonna watch that thing. Seventy one. Ah, yeah, the thing is with with fours I as well. Um I for some reason it it works okay, but it's those errors are so irritating. I mean I was running medium to ultra settings on with the thirty sixty Ti and then it'll like pause and say VRAM low. Like, okay, I understand, 8 gig, we all knew 8 gigs wasn't going to be enough for the new GPUs, but why pause the damn game? It's, it's just so annoying. You know what would have been cool? If the screen's numbers reflected those numbers, so you could see on the little screen. That okay. would have been pretty cool. Alright, so almost 90, 91, 92. 93 94 95 96 97 98 98 come on come on 99 100 okay Space starting up again. BIOS has been reset. Please reconfigure BIOS. That's okay. mm, where's the mouse? It's this mouse. All right, cool. Ah, oh, right. optimal for defaults. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> And of course, Windows will give us a blue screen. Windows blue screen, let's go. <laughs> oh, lovely Windows. Uh, right. Success, finally. Yes, dude, we finally have success. Uh, all right, I think take out the Logitech USB there underneath the teleprompter in that hub. There for the blue lights. Take that one out. And then... Can they see? No, they can't. No. I think for if we do like benchmarks and everything, we can set them up. But for now, just think. Yeah, for now, if we can get into Windows, I'm gonna pack up and head home. <laughs> All right. I just think I'm just going to need to do a reinstall quickly of Windows. Just re just re uh, press F1 to, uh, to go into. Recovery environment and it just reset and then it switched off. I pressed that one. Oh. Yeah, so we're not probably going to finish the entire system. Yeah, no. That's, you have a lot of time at home. All right, so no, it's completely buggered. Okay. Uh, Start up settings. Just going to see. The Alex, the issue was after the BIOS update, it installed the bars and did a reboot and we used the RAM module that's in there now and then we changed the RAM to this one and then for some reason it just didn't want to display after we changed the RAM module so yeah So that substation is burned down there by us. 
So it seems like we're not going to have electricity for a few days, which is lovely. How does it move up? Shift, Shift up. There we go. Plus up. There we go. What is it that we still needed to do? Cable management uh, and a couple of benchmarks. Well, I can do cable management at home, seeing as uh, I won't have electricity. So tomorrow I'll probably sit with the cable management. You just plop in the RAM and then do all the cable management tomorrow. And whenever I've got electricity. Play some games. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just tiring. It's tiring, and I'm hungry now. Hope this food left when I get there. <laughs> Now we're just reinstalling Windows. Mm -hmm. Because window, Windows is a little beach. Yeah, I think we can delete everything, do a complete. Yeah, and just delete everything. I might just find some weird stuff on there. Look at that smile. That's why he's the formatting the car. <laughs> he's afraid you know, I might find some weird stuff on there. He's, uh, he's gay midget porn and stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, that just reminds me of land. We usually, if somebody, we, uh, when you go to a land, if somebody went to a bathroom or uh, went to bed early, the next morning he gets a surprise for a new uh, wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> and it's usually the most disgusting yeah. thing we can think of. Two girls, one cup type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can start packing up some of the stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you want to leave the boxes here or do you want to take it with you? Yeah, let's just leave the boxes here for now. I'll, I'll, I might fetch some of the boxes later, but I do not think so. It's gonna make my, <laughs> my studio look cooler than it really is. It's gonna make it look yeah. like there's a lot more stuff than it actually is. Some boxes of this, maybe some stuff that I need or whatever, I'll just let you know. I got the space, yeah. I'm, buy PC. I'm used to PC balls just taking forever. Luckily, nothing went wrong with the stream, at least. Yeah. I'm happy about that. Yeah, that was that was a good. 
Because usually it's the screen that gets screwed over. Yeah. So we're still watching. <laughs> Do you want the box? No, you can keep it. If I need the stuff, maybe for the serial numbers for the insurance or something like that, I'll just tell you. You can even keep this for now. I feel like a bowler now. <laughs> you can even keep the Strix box for now. Put it in between or something. <laughs> just gonna kill me like, who's in all the boxes? Holy shit, but this is a shit trip back <laughs> When I was done, it looked decent. Anu came here, crow's nest. <laughs> Crazy shit. Getting ready for a lot of camera management. I'm just gonna try and tidy it up just a little bit. Just so we can actually get it closed. Well, luckily, you're, it's just great. You're, nobody's going to see the back, so it's... No, definitely not. I'll never show this to anyone. <laughs> see, that's the, the issue with RGB as well. Because if it wasn't for the RGB fans, half of these cables wouldn't have been here. Yeah, and you wouldn't need the Node Pro, you wouldn't need the RGB hub exactly. uh, adapter thing as well. So... I think just one of these days you might need to come back. So I just might need to get a bit of shots of the case. Okay. Ow. All right. Where's that other th the door? What is this for? The door. One of the doors. Hole of your bloody. <laughs> Just put it back in here, because I'm I'm gonna need those. Where's the other? Where's the little door? Uh, in the box. to actually leave. Yeah, the luck of you guys can go now. I'm sick of you. to make sure that they go into uh, the right order. Okay. Depending on the order, the, the light is going to like flow. Okay. I'll put them back now, I just they needed to go on the inside. Ugly 
goodness is he doing? This is the front panel. Where's the back panel? There it is. Why do you want to cool your system? Huh? Why do you want to cool your system? I don't know. Just hold on. We one day, I renamed one of my Just friends. Just that stuff, yeah. please. We renamed my friends, uh, or we installed Windows. And we, we were young. And we gave him, like, the most horrible name. But then the thing is, <laughs> if you save certain PDFs, as a, if you just save them, you can rename everything, but it keeps like some of the metadata. <laughs> oh no, oh, no, sorry, he was already in university, so he had to, he had to oh, send that file to one of his uh, lecturers. Oh shit! <laughs> and it had like in the metadata when we were reading in, into one of the software, yes, it picked up that name. <laughs> Oh, shit. He was pissed. Was it like a really bad name? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Let me take these as well. What did these come with? Uh, probably the case. Oh, no, the power supply. Okay. No, the case came with all the... Hmm. Gotta keep them then. Bloody heck, Dick. I think put the random back in here. Now we can install it. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like an issue sometimes. But sometimes RAM switching be in and out, in and out. It might cause issues. Well probably and we can just try install it. Windows and then it's done and we're probably gonna switch off and go. Hmm. Oh my feet! Yeah, oh. I know as well. I mean, how long have we been streaming? For over three hours. I said it would take around like three, four yeah. hours. Yeah, Shay Rosanna has been asking me, where are you? How long? Alright, so Windows is in. Okay. Now we're probably not going to do anything else. But you can at least see system 11700K. Yeah, Woo! With that <laughs> 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 there we go. You, you want to install the rest of the RAM and see if it works? Yeah, let's do it. Just unplug maybe. Unplug. I hate it when they don't click. Mm -hmm. No, it's in. Connect the, the front uh, IO. Mm. All right, let's see if all the RAM is working. There's no display yet. DRAM light. Yeah, so I think we just need to. Let's see if it actually went in Basel. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. 
Um, the settings. I just play thirty thirty two gigs. We can basically end the stream as well as three viewers left. Yeah. All right. All right. So guys, we are gonna end it here. The PC is pretty much <laughs> done. Uh, we just need to do re uh, cable management and all of that, and then later on we'll do like maybe a benchmark video. Maybe you can come through again. Someday yeah. we can do like a nice little benchmark system. Yeah, we've got the NZXT strips in. Yeah. Cable proper cable management's done. Maybe we can change out the power supplies then. The power supply then, yeah. Um. And I've got my sleeved cables. Mm. Your other SSDs and everything mm. as well. So yeah. I think it's going to look really nice if you can just see at the front there with in, in that camera. We can probably switch it currently. Where is no? I don't have a mouse. Quickie on the mouse over there. Go to sources and OBS on the side left, down left at the bottom left. Yeah, which one? Uh, no more left. This one, yeah. Side. Yeah. Uh, the bottom one. And there you go. So you can see like the, the fan there. I think if all of the fans are going to be on, yeah, it's going to look nice. sick. It is going to look nice. And the top ones as well. Yeah. You can see it from the side. Uh, nice. Alright, we switch back. Which one is it? Uh, that one. <laughs> 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 Alright, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, if you want to re-watch the stream, the stream is going to be live anyway, or well published. So you guys can watch that. And then later on, we'll uh, run or come back and we can do like a benchmark video uh, on, on the system. Because I still need to make a video on the case as well. But the case was pretty simple to build and I'm kind of surprised and I'm happy. Nice. So great job on that Corsair. The 4000D was definitely not that easy. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys i do hope you enjoyed all of our struggles and everything <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for bed it's 10 o'clock almost 11 so yeah it's a little bit of time but anyway thanks for watching guys yeah. i will check you next time cheers guys you'll have to end the stream that side <laughs> uh, okay. uh on obs cheers guys